So as you can hear, Daisy's sounding a little bit different now, and this is because of the very audio processing. I've stripped away any of the vibrato, and we've ended up with this electronic synthesized kind of flavor. So that's taking the straightened pitch on each of these to maximum, quantized pitch, locking it absolutely in. So it's the sort of sound you're gonna hear on a lot of R&B sort of crossover hits these days. So the track's got a bit of an R&B sort of garage flavor to it now because of the processing. And what I wanna do is I wanna really expand on that. I just wanna show you and backtrack what I did. The musical stuff is coming from the Halion Sonic SC. So it's a variety of different uh, sounds on here. Beats are coming from the Groove Agent 1. But what I did was I treated the vocals differently. So this one here and this one are the same. Okay, I made a copy. I made a copy here, but I changed the notes. So you can see here that there's a sustained tone there, whereas before it was going higher to low. On the final one, I've taken it really high and then low. So we've got a real nice flavor there. We've got nice variety. So let me just show you here. I'll solo the vocal. My heart freezes. My heart freezes. My heart freezes. My heart freezes. Now, this is kind of like a reverse of a remix. You know, remixes, you usually make the music to the vocal, but what I'm doing here is this I'm making the vocal match the music. So it's a really interesting concept, and only tools like Very Audio allow this sort of thing to happen. So, that's a little idea I've been playing around with there. The rest of it needs work because it's exactly the same as it was originally on the previous videos with the previous musical example. What I've done is I've straightened stuff out, but it needs some more work. Let's have a listen and uh, see how it's feeling. I'll follow you. Okay, so this is the first place we wanna do some work. I wasn't really feeling the fact that it was this higher note here. I wanna move this down, so I'm gonna push tab, and I'm gonna select all of these and bring them down here. Let's have a listen. I'll follow you. I'm wondering if we should change some of these notes. Because a lot of these contemporary R&B sort of electronic voice tunes, they do go up quite high in pitch. You know, sometimes octaves, sometimes several notes up. Let's have a listen again. Possibly too high for the first verse, though. It could be good as a variation. Let me have a listen again. I'll follow you. Let's maybe take both of these and try another note. Yep, I think that works well. Right, let's bring this one down. Whoa. There we go, it's this one down here. Let's take it up to that high note to echo what happened before. Maybe go higher. Then keep that sustained there. Yeah, I think that works. So let's see if we can come out with something on this section. Just gonna push P to put the locators around the selection. Okay, same note as before. I'm actually gonna to go to a new version. So it's gonna be more flexible for us. Let's bring this down. Now that needs more scope in terms of the segmentation and I think it's fair to say it's a good point to go back to segmentation. Now we are gonna lose the pitching, you know, I've mentioned that before. 
and let's get these segments sorted in a, a different manner. I need some more basically over here um, because I want more flexibility. Let's come back. Yeah. So I'm going to do a chop here. Okay, so the in I think is over here. I'll listen to audition in a second. Just increase that vertical zoom again because it's really hard to uh, trigger these. Let's try now. Okay, I'm probably going to link those two together. So you can see now that pitching information has gone. We'll sort that out soon. Let's just have a look. So that should be enough. I'm going to go back to pitching. Just going to click on this, straighten the pitch all the way. And just snap it down. Let's have a listen. Let's try this. Take that really high. And let's see how that feels. Yeah, I quite like that. Um, let's just see how that feels with the section after it. Okay, I'm not 100% with the note on here. You know, you just got to try these things out and see how they feel. Maybe a repeat of this. Maybe to go lower. Yeah, I like that. I think that's more like it, but I might change my mind. <laughs> Let's just come back over the whole section, get a feel for that. I'll follow you. Yeah, that's working. So, you can see the scope. You know, this is the kind of unconventional approach, but it's very contemporary. You know, we're actually making the vocals match the music, and we can do that on a real kind of exploratory way. We don't have to have any music theory knowledge. We can just try and see how those words sound with the backing, just interactively. That's a great thing about it. We don't have to bounce it out and see if it works and then undo. It's literally all happening in real time. So it's a great, great strength of very audio for modern composition.